Hello and welcome to BBC Basic. This is BBC Basic and I'm now using the trial at the moment. But it is no different to the real version which is here, BBC Basic Windows. It just means that you've got more memory and you can compile and decompile as well. But whenever you open this, you get this message at the beginning. Press OK for it, and then you can start using it as normal. So, so this is a text pad where you type in all the code, and this is a play which will output any information, or run, this is called run, to output any information that the code does to make it, to give it a visual output. So, for example, if I want to put something on the screen, I write to print and make sure it's in capital letters and put the, whatever you want to output on the screen in quotations. So, for example, hello, close quotation, and I press run. You can also press an F9 if it's easier. Hello. And you get this arrow showing that's it, that's finished. This, if you have anything here, it's just a mistake. Close it, go back to it. The useful thing about this program is it loads it. If you have something wrong in this command, it will shine up in black. That means you've typed it wrong, so like this. Doesn't, doesn't work. So I'm going to also write another command. Close quotations, run, hello, how are you? Right. So, this is very limited at the moment, but if you want to expand this, you could also allow people to input information. To input information, let's say you want people to input their name, right? So you first of all have to ask the user to print their, to input their name, so print. Is your name? Shimok. Right. For the user, to allow the user to input their data, right? In, in capital letters. Space. And now, without quotations, you write the variable where you want the name to be stored. A variable is like a code where data is stored, it can store anything really. Um, so if I write name in small letters and I write dollar, which is a string so we can hold any type of information such as numbers, characters and letters and symbols. So whatever the user imports it will be stored in this variable called name. Right. So if I press enter and I press run, what's your name? Right. Have you noticed this now says question mark, which means that you can now input something. Unlike before, where you just have this, and you know, you written something, it said mistake. So we do. So, what's your name? Or anything like pop and say it doesn't do anything at the moment because I haven't told it to do anything with that variable. But at the moment, Bob is stored in the variable name. Okay, right. So if I want print, if I want to print as a user, hello, hello, and name. So hello, Bob. So if I write hello. Actually, you can remove this. This is pointless. Hello. Now, I have to press space and close the quotations, and then press plus. That means hello, 
and I want to name with dollar sign. So what I'm doing here is printing out hello with a space and then and the name whatever stored in this variable. The space is used otherwise I try there. Hello L L and you wouldn't recognise it. The space is used because this plus does not act as a space, it means and something else. Right here, so, so what's your name? Bob. Hello Bob. Also you can put print data in between their name. So hello Bob. Pleased to meet you. So if I write plus and something else. Open quotation marks. And I can put a full stop, and that full stop will act after Bob. Full stop. Space. Please. Quotation mark. Close quotation. Always remember to put, put close quotations. And um, yeah, that's fine. To all pink, that means it's all working fine. Because if I didn't put one of these, actually, doesn't do that. All right. But if I don't put one of these, it will give me an error. So missing. See, it'll give me an error and highlight it. I miss something out. And so I'm missing a quotation in this line. So if I have this here. Right. What's your name? Hello, Al. Pleased to meet you. Good. Now that's covered basic importing of data, variables, and printing out. And this is made for beginners. Later on, we'll talk about more advanced stuff. Right. Thanks for listening.